boys and girls. Here's our video for today. We're gonna learn some more about sharks with Fly Guy. I feel like we've been reading so many shark books. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping that some of the facts that we learned today are maybe new, but also I'd be interested to see if you remember some of the facts from before. Fly Guy presents Sharks, written and illustrated by Ted Arnold. Miss Martino let us borrow some of her books. <laughs> a boy had a pet named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Fly Guy, Buzz and Fly Guy were at the aquarium. Let's go see the sharks, said Buzz. Fly Guy seemed scared. Sharks are cool, said Buzz. There's nothing to be afraid of here at the aquarium. They dived in to find out more. Scientists have found about 400 different kinds of sharks. Each shark has amazing abilities. Gray reef shark, blue shark, leopard shark, spiny dogfish shark, basking shark, this picture is small, but this shark is actually really big. It's pretty cool. Prehistoric shark. Prehistoric shark tooth. Sharks have been around for over 400 million years. Sharks are fish. They live in bodies of water all over the world, even in lakes and rivers. Like other fish, sharks breathe through gills. There's a picture of the gills up close. It looks like little cuts in their skin. A shark skeleton is made of cartilage. Sharks don't have any bones. This is a hammerhead shark. If you touch your ears, boys and girls, your ears are made of cartilage. Also, if you touch your nose, your nose is made of cartilage. Cartilage makes sharks flexible. They can turn quickly to catch a bite to eat. So this is a hammerhead, great white shark. <laughs> Coral cat shark. Sharks have many rows of teeth. Only the front row is used for eating. Jaw of a nurse shark. Look at all these rows. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight rows. The mouth of a shark can hold thousands of teeth at one time. Cookie cutter shark jaws, <laughs> the tiny one. Jaws of a sand tiger shark. This is the sand tiger shark up close. Now remember when one of the teeth fall out, like when they're catching food, they have all these teeth to replace them. So how you guys have baby teeth, when your baby teeth fall out, your adult teeth come in. But if you lose one of your adult teeth, it does not get replaced, at least not by your body. The dentist could replace it, but there's none left in your body after that. Most sharks are carnivores. They eat meat such as fish and seagulls. A shark uses its sharp teeth to rip its prey. Then the shark swallows the meat whole without even chewing. This is a white tip reef shark. I'm hungry. How about a tuna fish sandwich? <laughs> when I was in Hawaii, we went snorkeling to see fish and we ran into two different types of sharks. We ran into white tip reef sharks and black tip reef sharks. The white tip, they said not to go near them, but the black tip were okay. Not all sharks eat meat. The whale shark is the largest shark in the world. It eats a, it eats small plankton called a small plant called plankton and other tiny plants. This is a whale shark, and there's a snorkeler next to it. So if you look, this is a person. And that's the big whale shark. And this is what plankton look like up close. They're very small. 
And this is a close-up of whale shark's teeth. So luckily, because the plankton are so small, the whale shark doesn't really have to search too far for them because the ocean is made up of a ton of plankton. So they can just kind of swim along with their mouth open and they'll be able to eat. Most sharks are, have rough skin made of denticles. Blue shark. It's hard, it feels hard and sharp. Denticles protect sharks from harm. So if you look really tiny close, a bunch of little dots. Here's another great white shark. A great white shark's denticles and a Greenland shark's denticles. So look, these kind of look like spikes. So depending on the shark, depends on what kind of denticles they have. Rough and tough. Nurse sharks have smoother skin than most sharks. It feels like sandpaper. Other fish have smooth, slippery scales. A shark's teeth can bite right through them. Sharks have super senses. That makes them great hunters. Moses smooth hound shark. There's his nose right there. And a big eye hound shark. Wow, look at his eyes. Oh, he's a little scary. A shark can hear its prey moving underwater. It can even hear a fish's muscles moving as it swims. There's that white tip brief shark again. So it has really great senses, so that way it can find its food. A shark has special eyesight that helps it to navigate through dark, murky waters. But a shark can feel its prey nearby without even seeing it. People need special glasses to see in the dark. There's a close-up of the shark's eye. Sharks are very smart. They have brains just like humans and flies. They have super sensitive noses to sniff out their next meal. Two thirds of a shark's brain is used for smelling. A great white shark can smell blood three miles away. Oh, that's scary. And another fun fact about the great white shark and even sharks in general, they use their sense of smell more so than the rest of their senses. So their eyesight isn't that great, but their sense of smell and their sense of movement is very strong. So when there are shark attacks in the water where sometimes a human might get hurt by a shark, it's because the shark thinks that the human is an animal such as a seal or a dolphin. So they really don't know what they're eating. They just sense the smell or the movement and they think that that's something to eat. When in actuality, it's a person and you shouldn't be, eat they shouldn't be eating people, but that's what happens. And that's why sharks kind of get such a bad name that they're so mean, but it's not really true because they just make a mistake sometimes. May many baby sharks, which are called pups, hatch from eggs. A mother shark can have up to 100 pups at a time. So this is a small shark embryo within the egg. So you see the little guy right there? And this is the egg sac that it's born into. A newborn swell shark coming out of its egg case. So here's its case, and he's swimming out. <laughs> puppies. So just like dogs, baby dogs are called puppies. Baby sharks are called pup. A newborn shark pup resting. Most sharks live to be about 25 years old. That's why long, that's way longer than the life of a fly. A newborn lemon shark pup swimming away from its mother. Sharks do not sleep. Most have to keep moving in order to breathe. Sharks are super fast swimmers. They can move at up to 25 miles per hour but they cannot swim backwards. Some sharks are nocturnal hunters. They are more active at night. In the dark, a cookie cutter shark uses a special light 
called luminescence. This light makes the shark look smaller so that its prey is not scared away. The shark surprises its prey and takes a cookie-sized bite. <laughs> this one glows in the dark. So here's the cookie cutter shark. This is the goblin shark. Look at his nose. <laughs> And his teeth, oh gosh, he's, I don't think I would wanna run it. Not that I would wanna run into any sharks, but I'd be scared of him. And this is the white tip reef shark, which is the one I was telling you about when I went snorkeling, I saw. Wow, said Buzz, we learned a lot about sharks today. They are so cool. Fly Guy was not scared anymore. Fly Guy, said Buzz, I can't wait for our next field trip. The end.